to order the uh, Penn Traverse School Board meeting for March 9th at 7 p.m. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Lager, please take roll call. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Here. Mr. Chasson. Here. Dr. Koshko. Here. Mr. Leonard. Here. Mr. Lozapson. Mr. Neiman. Here. Mr. Petrucci. Here. Mr. Stovar. Here. Dr. Trey. Here. You have a form of Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lego. Uh, may I have a motion to approve the minutes of the February 9th, 2015 meeting? Motion. Second. Question. Question. Question will be a call for. This will be you know, all, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Uh, Dr. Harris, information. Uh, sure. First off, we have a substitute for our student union representative. And it will be Jake Lang this evening. He came right from baseball practice. <laughs> He's going to give us his update on what's going on at the high school. Excuse my tire. Apologize. Like First off, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jake Lang. I'm a junior at Penn Traffic High School. As he said, I'm here for Lucas Johnson. I'd like to address the board and inform you all what we've been doing at the school. Recently, this past weekend, Student Union held a senior citizen prom on March 7th. Uh, especially for its first time being held, we consider it an overall success. The attendees were extremely appreciative of what we did, and we see the event as only improving. CAP, our community action program, will be hosting the third grade buddy program on Wednesday, March 11th. Close to 500 students will be gathering at the high school for the afternoon. The CAP program is grateful to the Penn Traffic Administration for their supports of this inner school activity. This is not overlooked. Lastly, the food drive will be concluded on March 16th. That is all. Any questions, comments, concerns? Any questions, comments, and concerns? You did an excellent job. Yes, I really appreciate you coming. Thank you for Thank time. You so much. Next, we're going to move on to our favorite part of the month, and this is our students of the month. And we're going to start with our elementary school, and that's the call. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, I'd like to introduce the elementary student of the month uh, from McCullough, Alexa Rulo. Come on up, Alexa. <laughs> we know you do the hip hop dance, so you're okay in front of the camera. Uh, Alexa is the daughter of Jan and Frank Rulo, and when talking to Alexa's parents, they were quick to mention how sweet, kind, generous, and actually shy, as you can see, Alexa is as a person. They believe that Alexa has a future which includes working with children in some capacity. Her parents stated that Alexa is always willing to help and actually seems to seek helping others out, especially young children. Alexa loves to spend time with her family, enjoys uh, being at home as well. Alexa is very active and balances her social life and schoolwork. When Alexa is not studying or doing schoolwork, she is active in cheerleading and dance. The rulers are very proud of Alexa and all that she has accomplished. When talking with Alexa, which she was very nervous about when I asked her to come to the office, she said her favorite subject in school is reading. She mentioned that she has struggled with reading in previous years, however, however, has really become fond of reading this year with her reading teacher, Mrs. Freeds. She likes and understands that there is much more to reading than reading what is just written. Alexa said she really likes school. She learn, enjoys learning new skills and subjects so that she can be much smarter. She's always trying and wants to do her best work every day. The one thing Alexa does not find so enjoyable about school is getting up early. She wishes the school day could start a little later. Some of the outside interests that Alexa enjoys are playing with her friends, helping mom around the house, and sleeping in whenever she has a chance. Alexa cheers for the PT Braves during football season and competes for the M&M Dance Academy on the hip hop team. As a matter of fact, they came in second out of 28 teams this uh, week in Boardman, Ohio. Alexa stated that she would like to perform with the Encore group here at the high school and is always looking for, and is also looking forward to participating in the musicals at the high school. You came up at the right time of the year. 
Alexa's teachers identified her as a great girl to be around. She always has a smile on her face, works very hard in school, and is persistent in accomplishing all of her goals. They stated that Alexa has a wonderful attitude and excels in and out of the classroom. She has a passion for learning and her outlook on education is truly remarkable. The teachers would also like everyone to know that Alexa possesses a compassion for her peers. In a group setting, she balances both work and socialization. She is always likable and very reliable. Alexa, on behalf of McCall Elementary, I'd like to congratulate you on being the Elementary Student of the Month. You know, look shy to me. <laughs> Congratulations, Alexa. You sound like you're a very talented girl. Thank you. And I know I like sleeping in too, so this is your reward. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Student, um, from the middle school level, and that's Mr. Simpson from Penn Middle School. Thank you, Dr. Harris. The uh, March uh, Middle School Student of the Month is Anna Choi. Anna, can you come forward, please? <laughs> Anna is the daughter of Charles and Allison Choi. She has a brother, Matt, and a sister, Sheree, both here at uh, high school. Her parents tell me she is their youngest child, but definitely not the least. She was always learning things very quickly, even starting to walk at nine months. She's been blessed with a great memory and can spell even better than her parents. Anna has a soft heart for animals and people. For her birthday one year, instead of her friends buying her gifts, she asked them to bring a donation for an animal shelter. She plans on volunteering this summer at a local animal shelter. They have uh, two dogs and a cat that she is one of the primary caregivers for. She's a very courageous person standing up for people who are being teased or bullied, even at the risk of herself uh, getting teased. Her parents are exceptionally proud of her for that. And has a lot of friends, and she's a loyal friend. She likes to host them at their house on weekends. And enjoys spending time shopping with her older sister. She's very organized and keeps her room tidy. That, that's something special, that, that caught my eye there. Uh, she works hard to maintain excellent grades in school. Anna's a lot of fun to be around, and we love having her and her family. We're very blessed that God loaned her to us to raise. Uh, in speaking with Anna, she's just an exceptional, exceptional student, but she's just so humble. She doesn't realize, you know, the great future she's paving the way for herself. I'm, I'm very proud to have her in the building. Her teachers say she's one of the most mature eighth graders they've ever taught. Extremely intelligent, yet humble. Uh, she regularly does far and above what is required of her on assignments. And she'll do this not for recognition, but just to do the best job possible. Um, she's a silent leader and leads by example. And she is a team player, always letting someone in the group take the uh, accolades rather than the, getting the uh, accolades she deserves. She's a role model, role model student and one of the best students I've had in my career. Even the great Zimmer said she's one of the fastest typers he's ever had in 18 years. And she types up to 90 words per minute with zero mistakes, which is unheard of. Um, her parents and the staff of Penn Middle School are proud to call her the March Student of the Month. And it's right. currently enrolled in all honors and AP level classes here at the high school where he maintains nearly a 4.2 GPA and that in and of itself is very impressive but after talking to Jack it became more impressive because of the schedule he actually maintains during the during the week see Jack tutors four days a week between Harrison Park and McCullough Elementary he tutors reading and math and he doesn't do it because he has to he does it simply because he wants to now he's there 
because he's picking up students to take them over to Noah's kids for his job on Monday. Hey, Doris. Hey, Doris. Jesus, I thought I had my phone off. Sorry. That's it. Um, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So instead of simply waiting for the kids, he said, eh, let me put my time to use. Let me tutor them. So he started tutoring them. Then he takes them over to Noah's kids, where he continues to work with the kids throughout the remainder of the evening. Now he said he gets home roughly 6, 6.30, a little, little bit later some nights. But it's Thursday that's the special night for him. That's what he calls his day off. He leaves school and goes to babysit. And then after he's done babysitting, he goes to a scout meeting. That's the day off, all right? He's working on an Eagle Scout badge. And that's no small feat in and of itself. And with the Eagle Scout badge, you have to do a community service type uh, project. So Jack told me, basically, he's gonna build a memorial bench for veterans at the Immaculate Conception Church uh, Cemetery in Irwin. And he's doing it because the veterans have given so much to everybody else and oftentimes their services are overlooked. So he's gonna put the bench in, he's gonna do the landscaping, and he's gonna dedicate it, um, hopefully later this spring, correct? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're waiting on the weather, right? Yeah. yeah. So, in looking at this, I found a lot of similarities with what Jack told me and what his teachers told me, and it's about the compassion and the caring he shows for others. Um, the teachers actually commended his volunteerism and said that his concern for other people is astounding. They've never seen a teenager care more for others than they do for himself. And that, that was something that really struck me. They also said that he's a quiet leader who shines in group activities and that he's the kind of kid who you'd love to fill your class with. Um, he, I have so many comments here, I'm just gonna go through a couple for you, Jack. Um, they said, you'd like to stay in control. You like to be ahead of the game. You always like to learn and you love to share that knowledge with others when you give them a chance. Um, they said you have a very dry sense of humor and a dry wit, which is enjoyable for them in the classroom. They, they love to, I'm gonna say joke around and goof around with you. Um, it, everybody says you're quiet, but everybody says you're a leader. It's because of these traits that I'd like to present to everybody here, Mr. Jack Eisenhower from March Student.
the kids are about to um, leave, and I do want to go over tonight. Uh, we are approving our new reading series, and it's a large purchase, 323,000 plus some change. But remember, this covers K to six reading, and it's according to our textbook cycle that you put in place several years ago. So it's not a new amount. This is a budget amount. We waited the last seven years to get a new series. The last one we had was also by McGraw Hill. In fact, it's the last one we've had in the last several years. It's always done as well. The company has always been a true supporter of our, um, the reason helps our kids do so well in reading. We've always had successful grades and we want to continue with this series. Some of the highlights we discovered when we did our pilot series, um, I had so many teachers wanting to pilot the series because they actually want to be the ones who decide what what we're teaching and have control in it, and that's always great to see. We couldn't choose every teacher, but we have at least six different ones palette, so we have at least six different grades representative. Um, some of the other series we palette were Pearson and Holt, and both series, the teachers sort of stopped in the middle because they realized um, they weren't a big fan of the series, so we didn't want to cause any um, we wanted to kind of change and update some things. But the ones we're choosing, again, is McGraw Hills. It's the Wonder Series. There's 12 different key points that we determined. They have um, plenty of questions designed for the DOK, depths of knowledge. They focus on levels one through four, with one being the recall facts, and of course, four being the performance assessments. It's aligned to the PA core. Um, teachers who did research about it um, feel that the essential um, learning that is required of the PA core is actually found and verified in the book. There is sufficient resources for teachers and parents. Teachers will no longer have to go around finding materials to supplement, because I know that's one of the questions that sometimes in the past brought us some concern about why we see all these different worksheets flying around. And there's plenty of resources for parents. When we had our parent core night, one of the biggest concerns for our parents is they need resources to help their children. Um, more so in math than reading, but they both had, they both said no matter what resource you can give for us to help our child with the new Common Core, um, with the new PA Core, we would appreciate. This has a lot of different um, resources for parents as well. There's a strong technology component. The stories are interesting or relevant to today's students. The writing component is in alignment with how we, um, with one of our goals, which is the PLN approach. Um, they have a strong emphasis on grammar as well. Students in kindergarten are forming sentences and having to name nouns and verbs. Um, it's teacher friendly. The teachers can um, study the data. They can actually plan accordingly. It's not something that they have to go out and reinvent the wheel. Um, they have cold reads, which is a cold read is a, when they're tested at the end of the week. In the past, if you notice, the stories were always tested on after the students had it for the whole entire week. They basically read it, the teacher read it, the parents read it, they acted it out, they talked about it, they discussed it, then they had a test on it. Now with cold reads, you have all the skills there, but it's actually a new story. So you have to apply all of your skills to a new story. And you might consider it harder, but it's actually gonna be better. There's a strong skills component. Um, the last audition was 2014, so it is current and up to date. And there is also a program feature for struggling students as well as a program feature for advanced students. And it's very rigorous. So it's good to have some hard expectations in there. It's what the new requirements are by the state as we talked about during the last um, parent meeting. Um, I've had no one give anything negative about the approach on the series. And uh, Joe, you have three different teachers pile in your building. Do you have any comments? I, I, or I do have, have um, uh, we're fortunate that I have a kindergarten, second, and third grade that are currently piloting the series, and it has been outstanding. Uh, it's a series that is, is well needed, and it has been very well received uh, by the staff. The, the students found it difficult initially, but um, as we've transitioned through the course of the year, it's been outstanding. Uh, parentally, what you'll see is that it is much more rigorous, um, just as Dr. Harris mentioned. It, it really takes us to that next level of the DOK, as well as uh, infused with the, the technology. I'm, I'm excited, I know the staff is excited. It, it, the level books, as he mentioned, it, it covers those students that are approaching that reading level, that are on that reading level and beyond that reading level. Those level books now have the same story. So 
the, all three levels can read the same topic and the teacher can discuss uh, that topic as compared to three different ones uh, in the class. As he mentioned, and as I mentioned, the, the technology uh, is outstanding as well. We're actually going to see a true reading grade uh, in the future with this series. Excited. I, I mean, very excited with this. But keep in mind, I know I pounded it when I was here eight years ago. I was on that committee. We, we did the first one. When it first came in, we had the same promise from parents. Uh, this is harder. My grade might be hard. It's going to suffer. But that first year we did it, and the kids, they were up to the challenge. If you give them something hard, you take them through it, they will do better. And over the last seven years, remember, we had the, for the longest time, we had the highest scores in reading for elementary school, like in the Westmore County, and that's something we've always been proud of. So we did as well. And so be patient. Don't just, when you see the first initial sign of being hard, come up and say, wait a second, my kids can handle it, because they can. And they will. We have good staff, we have good administrators, and our teachers will uh, make sure they're going to do a lot of professional development days. We train. <coughs> Sean and Ed, you have a teacher in first grade and fifth grade piloting at their building. Have you heard anything from Mrs. Miller or Mrs. Um, uh, I mean, it's better than what we had, much better. All, all the series were. I just, it was it's very much needed. Appreciate it. It's, and you really truly don't know that you're lacking materials until you go out and see a brand new series with what they have. And then it really makes you wonder, all right, the last year or so, were we keeping up? And that it kind of explains also why we had to jump through so much and always supplement. Because the one thing our teachers do is they want to make sure that the standards are being taught and they go out of their way to make sure their skills are being met. So this is going to actually have better resources. There's always nice that it's always confined. So I do appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Joe. Any questions on the reading series? We put a lot of work. But I was a reading specialist for prior years. <laughs> Mr. Newell's not here tonight. We want to look ahead of time to see who does action with Mr. Newell's So pick up the uh, policy. policy. And that's all I have to report. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Harris. Um, so at this time, with the recognition of visitors, we have no one signed up to speak tonight, so we'll, we, we will move on. May I have a motion to approve the Treasurer's Report and the High School Extracurricular Fund Report? Motion. Motion by uh, Mr. Leonard. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. May I have a motion to approve the list of bills for the month of March? Motion. Motion by Mr. Kachasek. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Any old business tonight? None this evening, Mr. President. All right. Tonight, before our regular meeting, we held an executive session where we discussed personnel matters, legal matters, and we received information uh, on the Clearview School. Um, moving on. Uh, athletics. And extracurriculars, Dr. Koshko. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I do have a few things. Move to accept the following resignation. Mark Martini, track coach assistant. Second. Second by Mrs. C. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. Move to employ the following personnel effective immediately. New employment is contingent upon the receipt of all necessary documentation. In the acceptance of Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Brenda Haas, Spring Musical Costume Co Coordinator, Denise Sudak, Boys Assistant Tennis Coach, and Lenita Meyer, Spring Musical Costume Co Coordinator. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. I just happened to look up to see if Brenda was back there. <laughs> she was in Georgia tonight. 
You just he just text her. Brenda's one of our writers for the Georgia paper. Motion carry. Okay, move to approve the following volunteer coaches. All coaching volunteers must have Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers on file with the athletic group. Joe Hudak, boys tennis volunteer assistant coach, and Megan Hudak, boys tennis volunteer assistant coach. Second. Second by motion. Dr. Trey. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. That'll be all, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Koshko. Uh, budget and finance, Mr. Kutchassi. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Move to approve expenditures relating to the high school renovation project according to the schedule as listed. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. Move to approve a 20 month extension to the Comdoc contract. Second. Second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That is all I have this evening, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Kachasek. Buildings and ground safety, Mr. Leonard. I have nothing tonight, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Uh, employer relations, negotiations, and transportation, Mrs. Izzy. Nothing to report, Mr. President. Thank you, Mrs. Sissy. Uh, food service, Dr. Trey. Nothing reported this time, Mr. President. Thank you, Dr. Trey. Personnel and curriculum, Mr. Petrucci. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to approve additional substitute teacher support personnel for the month of March 2015. Second. Second by Mr. Kachassi. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to accept the following retirement resignation effective at the end of 2014-15 school year. Robert Abraham, Karen Andrews, Joanne Gates, Barbara Kuntz, Chris Thays, Connie Vaskov, and Patty Venturella. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. Mr. President, can I make a comment at this time? Sure, absolutely. This is really to, the, to those individuals. I've known many of them for well over 20 some years and, and came into the district with several of them. We're, we're losing a fine, fine group of educators, good people, and uh, wish them the very best in life. That's all I have. And one comment I made, I was going to wait after the. Together, I know there are seven names, but seven names represent 245 years of teaching. If you combine them, 136 years were in the district, in the county, in our, I'm sorry, in Penn Trapper District. So I appreciate everything they did, and they will be honored at the end of the year. We will have other retirements come in June again. And to thank them for all they did, as well as Mrs. Perkins, who retired two months prior as well. Thank you, okay. Thank you. Um, all in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Our right, next motion is about the filter request here for the robotics team. And, you know, I'm, I'm the vote tech representative. And all our students go into any robotics. It's a, it's a big joy. It's very challenging, very educational. I'm glad to see we have a student here getting involved in it. All right. Uh, move to approve the following filter request. Jeff Newsom. BEX Robotics Team Competition in Philadelphia, February 27th to March 1st. He will be taking two students to compete in the Pennsylvania State Vex Robotics Tournament. The cost of the district will be approximately $1,102. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following conference request. Samantha Carney, AP Summer Institute in Chemistry in Morgantown, West Virginia from June 23rd to 26th, 2015, at cost of approximately $1,500. Brenda Crestalite, AP Summer Institute, AP, AP Studio Art in Morgantown, West Virginia from June 23rd to 26th, 2015, at cost of approximately $1,003. And Brett Keimer, speaking in a first year teacher at International Technology Engineering Education Association in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from March 24th to 28th, 2015, California University will cover all the expenses. Second. Second by Mr. Kachasek. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move this professional contract to the following teacher in accordance with section 1108 of the School Laws of Pennsylvania. This teacher has Satisfied, completed three years of teaching in the Penn Traver School District. Patrick Flynn, Spanish teacher at Penn Traver High School. Second. Second by Mrs. Issing. Question. 
Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Um, just to add something about Patrick, uh, there it says three years. Um, he actually started here as a student teacher, and then he was a long-term sub for the longest time as well. Patrick is just amazing, and um, every single day what he does in his classroom with Spanish, the enthusiasm he brings from whether it's period one to the end of the day. I had it, uh, my son had him, so we're open house. Last year, it was the very last one of the day he went to, he still had all the enthusiasm, the excitement, and he is just amazing, and he loves his language, so I'm glad that he's here. And like I said, three years is actually a little, little bit longer, but it was a good hire, so thank you. Okay, motion carried. Move to confirm the following makeup days as designated approval. Approved school calendar 2014-15 school year. The school closed days in time weather are February Thursday, February 19th, and Friday, February 20th. The makeup days are Thursday, April 2nd, and Monday, April 6th. Second. Second by Mr. Question. Leonard. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. Move to accept the following resignation. Lindsey Gruss. Math tutor at Penn Middle School, effective March 9, 2015. And Sharon Costco, paraprofessional at Penn Middle School, effective February 23, 2015. Second. Second. Second by Dr. Costco. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to put the following personnel. New employees contingent upon the receipt of all necess necessary documentation and extends back 30 for a 151 and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Super, su super substitutes effective February 23rd, 2015 as substitute at their daily rate. Joyce Cunningham, Vicki Daly, Ashley DeRado, Nicole Nelavanko, Gina Pipak, Joshua Radinsky, Elizabeth Strain, and Stephanie Walker. And miscellaneous is substitute rates Unless otherwise noted, Timothy Bianchi, Casey Whitaker, and to be determined, math tutor at Penn Middle School and to turn biology tutor at Penn, at Penn Sheriff High School. Second. Second, Second by Mr. Kachasek. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following FMLA leave extension request. Nicolette Stoop, extension of FMLA leave from March Second to the 12th, 2015, and then unpaid leave from March 13th, April 2nd. Long term sub would be James O'Connor. Second. Second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the, move the following textbooks 2015 16 school year that are in a textbook budget according to the technical <coughs> cycle. And Dr. Harris just gave us a fine presentation <coughs> with the support of Mr. Renier. And it's McGraw Hill, and the price is $323,486.46. Second. Second by Mr. Pachas. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's, that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Petrucci. Policy, public relations, and legislative title to uh, Mr. Dr. Trey. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Move to accept and file the minutes of the Superintendent's Information Committee meeting held on Monday, February 2nd, 2015. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. For the second motion, the caveat, uh, this partnership that we're addressing in the motion, we've had for almost 30 years, uh, probably longer, Mr. Petrucci, would you say, with student assistance, 35 yes. years? It's been very successful, very helpful, done a lot for kids. The motion is to move to approve the student assistance program agreement for the 2015-16 school year between the Fen Traffic School District, the Westmoreland County Drug and Alcohol Commission, and the Westmoreland County Behavioral Health and Developmental Services Program. The district agrees to cooperate in the development of the Student Assistance Program Initiative in accordance with the current Student Assistance Program Guidelines of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question. <clears throat> Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Uh, move to approve the special education plan for July 1st, 2015 through June 30th, 2018 as presented to the board. Second. 
Second by Mr. Leonard. Question Question. being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed no. Motion carried. I want to thank Greg and Zia for um, taking care of all that for the district too. Did an excellent job, Greg. Thank you. Uh, Move to adopt the resolution authorizing our president uh, to electronically sign any contracts, agreements, grants, and or licenses for the Pennsylvania Department of Education. Second. Question. Second by Mr. Dr. Costa. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. I move to give final approval of the following revised board policies tentatively approved on February 9th, 2015. A copy of these policies and regulations were made an official part of the minutes, and they were the policies of attendance, child abuse, and volunteers with an attachment to an affidavit. Second. Say goodbye, Mrs. The same question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. And finally, move to reschedule the date of the Superintendent's Information Committee meeting from Tuesday, April 7th, back to Monday, April 6th, 2015, due to the change in the school calendar. Second. Question. Second by question, Mr. Leonard. Question. question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Dr. Trey. Taxes, insurance, and census, Mr. Stovar. One item tonight, Mr. President, move to exonerate the following tax collectors from collecting said real estate taxes and the amounts indicated remaining on the 2013 tax. The list of delinquents has been forwarded to the Westmoreland County Tax Claim Bureau for collection, and the list is on file in the school district office. Mr. Larry Wojcik, Penn Township, $446,232.22. Mr. James Kerrigan, Trafford Borough, $99,167.71. And Mrs. Susan, Suzanne Drysdat, uh, Penn Borough, $27,303.81. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have tonight, Mr. President. Thank you, Mrs. Stove. Our solicitor's report, Ms. Shaw. Mr. President, the solicitor has nothing to report this evening. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. PTE re representative, Mr. Sean Rainier. Uh, I would just like to piggyback on the curriculum issue, and I hope the public knows that every time the state or, or federal government changes what we're going to be tested on, we got to change our curriculum. And uh, it's not cheap, and it puts us behind the eight ball. And, uh, you know, the state government, federal government, they could come down next year and say, well, we're not going to do the Common Core anymore which would leave us in the lurch. So uh, call your legislators and complain to them because I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to replace more than just our reading curriculum in the next few years, correct? We're working on that this summer. And actually, we're working on it now, but next year, is our, next, this summer is our big push with the teachers, and next year is our palace year, yeah. according to the textbook cycle. I mean, it forces us to play catch-up, which is not cheap. Right, very fun. All right, thank you, Mr. Rainier. Um, I have a motion for adjournment. Motion. Motion by Mr. Kachasek. Okay, um, motion made adjourned to 7.38 p.m.